The purpose of this video is to demonstrate software loading procedures. The demonstration will be performed on an Embraer E2 system, but uh, is very similar to E1 systems. Prior to start, let's talk about uh, some tips for the success of the operation. Software loading is not a complicated procedure, it is very repetitive in fact. Uh, the tips, the success uh, will be achieved if you do the correct preparation prior to start. The preparation is make sure that you have all software, all databases and diagrams required for the new software that is being installed. Make sure that your laptop or tablet is properly configured and the LAN in the airplane is operational. The version of the CMC remote terminal DLS shall be the version of the software that you are going to install. Other than that, make sure that the airplane is on ground. It has weight on wheels, airspeed less than 50 knots. For each use, if you are going to perform a full load of operational software, make sure that the brake switch in the cockpit is set to maintenance, otherwise the brakes will fail the loading. And for you once, make sure that the FedEx are energized in order to have the signal to load the SU prox. In addition, very important, make sure that the power to the airplane will not be interrupted as well as the power to the laptop or tablet being used. Use the proper charger connected to the laptop or the tablet to make sure you will not have power issues. Other than that, a uh, recommended procedure is to verify the CAS and maintenance messages that are triggered prior to start the software loading. This way you can compare with the messages that will be displayed after the software installation and make sure that there were no new messages triggered due, due to the software installed. If the operation being performed is a software, full software upgrade, uh, make sure that the proper circuit breakers are open prior to start. This is identified on the aircraft maintenance manual. Starting the loading procedure, uh, verify that the version of the tool is the one for the software you are going to install. Clicking about and verify the correct version. After that, once the version is confirmed to be correct, clicking data loader. The tool will verify where there are software or databases that can be used for installation and that's the reason for the preloading drives. In our case, we are going to demonstrate a full load of operational software. So select full load, then select the DR file for the operational software. Once it's marked, it will be shown in green below, and then click on select file. The configuration check we will start and this is a comparison between what is the content inside each of the modules and what is the content 
of the software being installed. Based on this comparison, the tool will estimate a time for each module to be loaded and will show below the total time estimated for this loading operation. While the configuration check is being performed, the percent complete is shown in the upper portion of the screen. If there are modules that failed the configuration check, they will be shown in the upper portion of the highlighted uh, screen. And uh, if there are just few modules failing, then you can start the load. If there are so many modules failing, prior to start, it's better to verify uh, what is causing the, those modules to fail the configuration check. Sometimes a reset of the power can be performed, and then you can restart all the operation until you have just few modules failing the configuration check. In our case, there were two modules that failed, so we are going to go ahead and start the load. During the load operation, uh, the percent complete is shown on the uh, uh, above portion of the screen, and the time remaining will be decreasing in the lower portion of the screen. On the highlighted screen, it can be notes the operation for each of the modules being loaded. After the load is completed, uh, the percentage will show 100%. Uh, there will be an alert regarding the databases installation that may be required. And the failed modules will be shown in the upper portion of the screen. As you can see in the video, there were some failure mod modules and uh, all the others will show as load success in the lower portion. You can scroll the screen and verify that. For the failed modules, you can select retry the tool will just load the failed modules. The ones that were previously loaded were successful loaded and won't be touched. In the system being used for this demonstration, there are no third-party modules installed. Brake control modules, nose steering, and sense. So, uh, the retry will not be performed because in our system these modules are not installed. So, we are going to go ahead with the software installation. Really important when you are going to change, upgrade the software in the airplane. You start with the operational software then perform the installation of the APM settings file, then the APM options file, and after that all the required databases in the sequence you prefer. Based on this sequence, in our demonstration we are going to perform now the full load of the APM settings file. So we are going to start by hitting, clicking DLS menu. The tool will be preloading the drives. Then search for the APM settings file that you had created and saved on your laptop. Select the DR file. Click in Select File 
then the configuration check we will start and estimate the time for each of the modules to be loaded once you start to load this press then you can verify the progress of the loading for each module Once the load is finished, load success for all four APMs, then select DLS menu, the tool will again do the preloading drives, and after it's done, select full load, and then select the file you are going to install in our case in our sequence APM options once you mark the file and click on select file there will be a software license agreement that will be shown on the screen you have to scroll all the way down and then select I accept. Once you click in I accept, an authorization code or security code will be asked for each airplane serial number that is a specific eight digit security code. This is applicable for all E2 loads and is also applicable for E1s load 25.7 and after and load 27.2 and later the security code for the airplane can be found on the APM option software that is a file inside called security code file dot txt you can open it with wordpad notepad and then verify the proper code for the airplane you are loading in our case 20,045 is the serial number of the airplane then type the proper security code for the aircraft serial number you are upgrading and in our sample I will make an error just to show how the system behaves if a wrong security code for that aircraft serial number is inserted I will put a letter B instead of letter A in the last digit once you finish the 8 digit insertion and click enter then if it's wrong access denied will be shown invalid passcode and you won't be allowed to proceed with the loading in our sample then uh, returning to the window where the security code is correcting for the proper security code and then click enter and then password accepted will be displayed and the configuration check we will start once configuration check is finished time estimated for each of the four modules then click start load the load process will start the details will be displayed on the window and then load success as previously previously mentioned after installation of the operational software APM settings APM options then the installation of the databases shall be performed for our demonstration uh, we will install the FMS nav databases and then all other databases shall be installed the same way click DLS menu the system will be 
preloading drives. After it's done, select full load and then select the proper file. Once select file is selected, then the configuration check will start. One comment that is important, full load will install any software or databases in all places where it can be installed. This also means a copy in the backup portion of Prox 7 and 8 for Embraer e 2 or a copy in the backup portion of Proc 4 for Embraer E1s. Once the configuration check is finished, click Start Load and then the load will start for all modules. As for the other uh, previous installations, the percent complete on the above portion of the screen will increase and the time remaining in the lower portion of the screen will decrease. As just mentioned, a copy of the databases is also installed in the backup portion, in our case of PROC 7 and 8, as it, it can be seen on the screen, on the highlighted portion of the screen. And after the load is completed, then we can go for the next database as applicable. Let's now talk about the other option of software loading, that is the target load. It's very similar to the full load. The difference is that there is one additional step where you have to select the targets, the modules to be loaded. For our example, let's click again in DLS menu. The system will preload the drivings. And once it's done, select target load. In our sample, we are going to perform a target load of the operational software. So let's select the operational software. Once it's highlighted, click on select file. Once you click on select file, a window with the possible targets will be shown for you to select. Scroll down to the modules you intend to perform the target load. In our sample, NIC2, mark enter. The module will show in the lower portion of the screen as added. Then, NIC5, and then generic IO1. But let's say that by mistake we had selected a wrong target, a wrong module. Uh, in our sample, let's do this with NIC5. Let's say that I want to unselect NIC5. So we scroll up to NIC5 and click Enter again. You will see in the lower portion, remove the module and the module identification displayed. Once the proper modules that you want to target load are selected, then click on Next. Then the configuration check will be initiated for the selected modules, and once it's finished, you would select Start Load. In our demonstration, as we just installed this operational software, the configuration check will show already loaded for all selected modules. But if the software was different, a time would be estimated, and then you would click in Start Load and perform the loading. Let's now do another example of target load. 
this time with a database, any database. So clicking GLS menu, preloading drives will be displayed. Once it's done, then click on target load, then select the file, in our case a EMI database. Once you mark the file, its identification will show in the lower portion of the screen and then click on select file. The possible targets will be displayed. Just remembering, EMI database is installed in PROC 6 and a copy in PROC 7 or PROC and PROC 8. In our case, let's select as targets PROC 6 and PROC 8. Once you mark both, then click on Next, the configuration check will be initiated. As the database is installed in the PROC portion of the NIC PROC, the NIC will show nothing to load and the PROC will have estimated the load time. Once the configuration check is completed, then click Start Load and the loading procedure will be performed. Just a wrap up. If you had performed a complete software upgrade in the airplane, after all software and databases are installed, then power down the airplane, close the circuit breakers that you had previously open prior to initiate the software loading procedure, and then after two minutes, power on the airplane again. Wait for approximately five minutes until all systems had performed their PBs, the system is stabilized, and then check for CAS and maintenance messages. Verify that they are basically the same as you had seen prior to start. Other than that, you can check in the sysconfig pages on the MFDs the identification of the operational software, APM options, parameters of APM settings, and identification and valid dates of the databases installed. Once you, it's OK, you can click in Confirm Configuration in the first page of the sysconfig pages and then the Validate Config that was displayed in the ACAS will go out and the load is finished and checked. Mm -hmm.